Hello folks, I've got great news for Mac users and on BeamNG. I'm on Utah right now, and the reason you've not seen me play a lot on the vanilla maps is because they didn't, they didn't work. They didn't work. They just, the textures were ruined. But Crossover, the application we're using to run this, had an update. And apparently that update fixed the issue, at least on this map. This is, I just got on to see if it changed anything and it most certainly did. This is great. BeamNG works as intended now. I don't know if grass works, because that was another thing that didn't load in correctly. I don't know if this map's supposed to have grass on it or not. But, I mean, I got so excited I didn't even get change from the default vehicle uh, this is great so yeah if you have crossover it will send you an email they sent me an email that linked to where you could get it and then you just download it you don't have to pay any additional cost or anything if you don't have crossover well that's up to you if you want to get it or not but based on the fact that it's now working correctly and you can use all or I've not tested all of them but I'm assuming if one works, they all work. I surely hope that's the case. Let's go to one of my favorite of all time, Jungle Rock Island. Please tell me this works. I'm going to be so happy if it does. Still takes a while to load, but that's just because my computer is not the fastest. Let's go, baby! It works! Yes! Uh... I played for so long. Okay, so it looks like the grass probably still does not work, unfortunately. But look at the textures. No weird black and blue streaks and stuff. This is beautiful. Oh, this is excellent. So yeah, it looks like all the maps work now, as intended. At least the textures. And I'm sure they had other upgrades to the crossover operating system like maybe fast maybe things will run a little smoother might be more efficient because remember it's having to go through all kinds of stuff crossover rosetta so it's a lot of transferring so it can tend to make things run even slower but honestly i'm recording right now which takes a lot of cpu power and playing on this map with normal graphics on and my computer FPS on here is not bad it's really not bad like I'm sure it's not very fast but it looks fine so yeah this is awesome this is an update that is totally worth makes it worth it to me because if you can use the default maps this looks just like it would look on a PC now you can pretty much do everything you can with BMG that you could on a PC, as far as I can tell. There are some nuances, but yeah. If only it was free. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking on that first video I posted about how to get BMG on Mac. How come it's not free? Well, or is it free? No, it's not, unfortunately. But in my mind, it's worth it. If it's not in your mind, that's fine. But it's just a great game, and I don't want to have to buy a whole new computer just to play it. Because I'm a Mac guy, and if it works on Mac via this system, that's great. Alright, well thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned from it. I'm so glad that they got the textures fixed, and I will see you next time.